Welcome back guys, welcome back to a brand new day for Road to Digital Worlds 2018. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. It's very appreciated. If you're watching on YouTube, don't forget to do a like. It really helps out the channel. And um, yes, Casper Flix, um, Zorak GX is not going to be removed. Um, it's from Shining Legends, which was released less than, a, less than six months ago, I think. For around six months. Um, so yeah. Um... Okay, uh, saludos hasta Argentina, boo. Uh, SPNX to make the deck spicy. I don't want to make the deck spicy. I want to make it run decently well. Uh, record, te has perdido de uh, el deck de Glacium Greninja que al final no es muy bueno. Um, so, why is Oric GX and Puzzle GX not a thing? I think it could be. I generally think it could be. Um, GG, Igor. <laughs> Thank you for the game as well. Um, I tried to get that choice man to make it interesting. Um, so GG. And okay, so now we're moving on to Greninja GX Golisabud. Um, Golisabud GX, 210 HP, grass type. First impression deals 30 damage. If Golisabud was on the bench, it deals 90 more. Armor press deals 100 damage, and then uh, you reduce 20 damage from your opponent's next attack. However, that attack is bugged, so it's something you have to take into account. And finally, Crossing Cut GX deals 150 damage, and you switch Goldisabud with one of your benched Pokemon. So, Goldisabud GX's attacks, even with choice bands, are still a little bit out of range um, from knocking out the main threats in the format today, so that's why we have the Greninja GX line. We have the 70 HP Froki, we have the Frogadier, which when Froki evolves, you get to place two damage counters to one of your opponent's Pokemon. And then finally, with Greninja GX, you get to evolve and place three damage counters. So the correct damage placement is actually going to be pretty important. Um, I made a misplay definitely in the previous game. The 20 should have gone onto the onto the Lucario. That way I wouldn't have needed to find Choice Band, but that was an oversight on my part. Um, Tapu Goku for free treat and flying flip to distribute damage, or Anguru as support to draw cards, um, double Lele to search for supporters, um, which in this deck are 4 Cynthia, 3 Kuzma, 2 Bridget, 2 Acerola, 2 Sigamore, and 2 N. We have Acerola because both Pokemon can tank hits and they work well with Acerola. Um, Bridget in order to set up, and then we have 4 Ultra Ball, the double Timer Ball, which we have been using to search for our Greninjas and Frogadiers. Uh, and put them in hand instead of evolving them immediately so that we can uh, use their abilities um, Triple choice band, triple floatstone, double field lore, the single rescue stretcher and then four DCs, four unit energy and two grass energy So that is the deck that we are going to be trying out today Let's jump into a ladder once again, try it out and see what happens Um... Bubu, eh, hoy todo el día es de Greninja GX, así es que no te has perdido eh, de todo lo de Greninja GX, no te preocupes, no te preocupes, ok, so Moon's 10 calling the flip, um, I believe the damage reducers are still bugged, and hello Sinister James, did you see the new emotes, the Seeking and Baby Puzzle, <laughs> we have new emotes for subscribers, New emotes for subscribers. I think they look really, really nice. Really, really nice. Eh, ¿Cuándo vuelven los videos en español? Eh, no tengo fecha. Pensé que los iba a regresar próximamente, pero la verdad es que no, ya no lo veo muy factible. Um, <laughs> Today is Greninja Day, indeed. And yeah, new emotes, indeed. New emotes. And we're only 11 people away, 11 subscribers away from another new emote. So that would be pretty cool. Only 11 subscribers away from a new emote. Wow, my opponent just draw passes. That's unfortunate. Um, our hand is also pretty sad. Um, we're, I mean, I could bridge it, honestly, and just pressure with the DC because my opponent, I know my opponent is also not, is also dead drawing. And I do have this to also, um, Pressure with Kalisa, but as long as I get a heads, so I feel like I'm gonna go for it. Um, I also get to search for Oranguru, so I'm gonna be risky here. But thanks to Oranguru, I think I can pull this off. And then we'll just pressure here. We can't draw cards this turn, but 
we're probably gonna draw we're definitely gonna draw at least one maybe two cards next turn um see turgan how many subs do you need to have a specific subscriber batch instead of a star oh that's up to me um i haven't made the subscriber badges yet um i can upload the images i just the people that i've uh, messaged in order to get them done um like they all always uh end up not coming through for me um so i decided that i'm going to design like a really cool cute table mon and i'm gonna use that and different colors for the um for the subscriber badges but um i'll i'll be trying to do that um um soon <laughs> eventually but soon um Y sí, lo siento, yo sé que hay mucho interés por, por videos en inglés, pero... Ay, pero es que, es, digo, por videos en español, pero no lo suficiente para justificar. En serio, si vieran mis cuentas, eh, o las cuentas del canal y lo que deja, eh, ahí se darían cuenta porque realmente no es muy factible hacer videos en español. Eh. What are my opinions on next season standard? Um, I mean, yeah, it seems like puzzle is gonna be a pretty big deal, of course. Um, I mean, I feel like it's a little bit too early to tell just yet. Um, but I'm not sure. I mean, it'll be interesting to see what happens. Um, it's just so far away that I haven't given it too much thought. Um, we know most of the cards of the new set, but not all of them. I don't know. Um, Okay, I feel like I could Kuzma to attack this, but if I can knock this guy out, that would be amazing. I'm just gonna instruct for two. Um, mm, not the best. I feel like... Okay, so I will Kuzma. And by targeting this Lele, even though my opponent has the, um, the Floatstone, then I can just evolve into Frogadier and KO the Lele, which is pretty nice. Right? It's pretty nice. Um... Muchas gracias, se agradece el apoyo. Me gustaría que me gustaría que los días tuvieran 40 horas y así sí podría hacer videos de BGC en, y de español y de todo. Eh, okay, so we're going to see a Guzman. My opponent is going to pick off the Lele. Seems like his hand is also not very good. Um, at least I have Rancuru though. Uh, Spicy Chicken, this remix is called Lucia's Song Remix. Um... So yeah, subscriber badges coming eventually, very, very soon, I want to say. Um, we could go down to two prizes here. Um, probably not going to do that, but we could. So I'm going to go ahead and instruct for three. Um, okay, still nothing here. Still no draw supporter. Uh, I don't want to bench the other wimp, but <laughs> um, okay, that sounds good, Sinister James. Um, I mean, I think until we have the next set and we can test with like copycat and figure out good draw engines and stuff, it's gonna be hard to tell um, what the best um, what the best decks are um, or what's looking to be good. But yeah, Buzzle with all the support it has, it's definitely gonna be pretty good. Everything B-string is going to be pretty good, I would say. Everything B-string related is going to be pretty good. And okay, so my opponent finally gets going. He will start spreading a lot of damage here, which is very scary. I don't have access to Ranguru anymore. I'm almost halfway through my deck, but I still don't have a single draw supporter. So hopefully we can top deck one. And... Y de PP, es que... Pues es que ya... Esto es mi trabajo, entonces eh, tengo que, por supuesto que lo hago eh, por amor al arte, pero también tengo que pensar en pagar las cuentas, ¿no? Uh, what, are, what am I planning to play at Mexico Regionals? Mexico Regionals is still over a month away, so it's hard to say what I'm going to play there. Um, however, um, the special event is coming up this weekend, and I'm probably just going to end up playing one of the... One of the best decks, uh, which in my opinion are either Buzzle or Malamar. And okay, so we finally topped the Ultra Ball to get that Frogadier, but unfortunately it's a little bit too, too late. 
like I'm gonna go ahead and attach here and I'm gonna first impression hopefully next turn I can armor press if I top the kind energy um, the kryptonite welcome And welcome Charizard X88. Um, finally, top deck a Sycamore. Awesome. Okay. So now I will bench the Wimpud. Now I will Sycamore away. And. Okay. We got the Field Lore. That's Auction. Uh, auction. <laughs> That's actually awesome. So. Uh, which is. Which Tabulela is scarier? Um, probably that both are the same. I'm just gonna take down the one with the Floatstone as well. Um, el deck de Tapucoco Tapulero es competitivo. Podría hacerlo. Podría hacerlo. Um, I mean, the deck definitely can struggle, Ocean, but I still do like it. I honestly do like the deck. And yeah, we're gonna have a three price turn, which is really, really cool. Um, so, knock out this Lele. We're gonna get two prizes here. And we got our third Greninja GX into the hand. At least we get the energy. I could GX, but I feel like I'd rather save that for now. I'm just gonna go ahead and armor press. And hello, Rhea. Thanks so much for being here. Um, yeah, the damage reduction is still not fixed. Otherwise, Colisbot would have a small arrow. And it would actually be relevant because my opponent would not be able to knock me out with Colisbot GX first impression unless he got a choice band. And um, yeah. Really unfortunate that the bug is not fixed. And yeah, yeah we finally have uh, the new emotes. <laughs> we finally have the new emotes. Uh, Sister James, you'll be playing with Zoark Ninja. That's the next deck that we are going to um, that we are going to be featuring. And Roxy says hi, Rhea. <laughs> I don't know if you heard. Okay, so we see an Acerola. Yeah, Armor Press is still blocked. If Armor Press was not bugged, my opponent would not be taking a knockout here. My opponent would not be taking a knockout because he would be dealing 120 minus 20. That's 100. So, oh well. I mean, nothing we can do about it, right? Um, my opponent also picks off the picks up rather the Lele, which means I'm gonna see angry, uh, angry faces because my opponent is going to abuse the bug. Um. Unless he commits a DC. Um, so yeah, we lose the knockout on the Lele, which is actually pretty significant. Losing the knockout on the Lele is actually pretty significant. Um, we do have Sycamore, which is nice. And Sister James, thank you so much. <laughs> thank you so much for hanging out. Um, thank you so much for stopping by. Okay, there is a DC. Is he going to armor press? Is he going to be honorable? No. Okay, crossing cut GX. That's fair. That's fair, right? El Tora, thanks so much for the two bits. Very appreciated. Um, okay, so we will be able to go down to even prices, which is nice. Um, ooh, we get a rescue stretcher. So N hopefully hurts my opponent quite a bit here. Rhea, <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you so, so much. And yeah, I think we're gonna play the three damage counters on this guy. It's our big target. Um, I might even end up powering up Greninja GX and then I definitely want to floatstone this guy I definitely want to build up or get back the Golisabut just so that I can um, thin the deck a little bit and I feel like I should end I could Sycamore but mm, no I'll Sycamore I will definitely Sycamore here I wouldn't mind setting up an Orfroki I do find quite a few decent tool cards uh, for next turn Timer Ball completely whiffs here. And so, now we have access to Greninja GX's GX attack. And Golisopods as well. So, we'll have to see what happens here. We'll have to see what happens. We get another Acerola. We're looking for a Choice Band, actually. We are looking for a Choice Band. And yeah, Unit Energy. They look really cool, right? Oh no, Greninja GX is weak. I should have end. I should have and uh, all those turns dead drawing okay all those turns dead drawing just Golisabud, Garboder was a loss is this the first game yeah this is the first game right with this deck so yeah um, came down to my opponent having the Guzma um, 
when we didn't. And so it happens. It happens. It tends to happen. <laughs> what do I think of Grenina GX a little nine tails? I think it's gonna suffer from the same issues. You're using a stage one and a stage two deck with and still you need a Pokemon to support you for draw, so it's just too clunky. It's too clunky to be viable. Um Garbo Respion sigue siendo viable para torneos del BGC. Eh, para TCG, querrás decir, ¿no? Y sí, justamente subí video de ese deck hace poco. Um, uh, and Murphy, we're playing... Um, we're playing Elizabeth Greninja. <laughs> we're playing Elizabeth Greninja. And we're having a frustrating day with Greninja GX today. I, I hope that the... Uh, Zoark version is a lot more streamlined and we can showcase just a little bit better um, Grenina GX's potential. I'm hoping so. No guarantees though, but I'm hoping so. I did get four Greninja GX's uh, in real life, so I hope I can put them to good use as well. <laughs> no pasa nada. Um, Eh, Kevin no va muy bien <laughs> No va muy bien And Jedi Good luck uh, Thank you so much for watching And I hope I'll see you soon <laughs> Thank you so much for hanging out um, Okay so decent ish And we are going first so I don't need to bench anything else Yeah it's super clunky Like I'm just trying it I've gotten so many requests for Greninja decks That it's um, That it's That I'm using it But it's generally super super clunky and I'm not a fan. Um, okay, our hand is actually pretty strong. Um, okay, I feel like I should do this for Froki. Because I have four Wimpuds, right? So I still have two more. Well, I have one more. Oops. Wait, so that means, yeah, one, two. Yeah, so one's prized, but that's fine. Um, I'll go ahead and attach here, and then I'm gonna go ahead and do this and just lay it for Sycamore. Um, <laughs> um, someone in your local group is playing this crazy Greninja Lola Ninetales, Greninja Tabufini deck with Volcanion Prism or Anguru and a bunch of other stuff. Okay, I mean. <laughs> He's free to play any deck he wants, right? But yeah, um, I would question how far he'll get with that particular deck. Um, and okay, we're up against Zorark Tessidui. Interesting. Zorark Tessidui against Galissapod Greninja. We're gonna see the Rob Bridget here. Very nice. Oh, and Glacian. Okay. <laughs> um... Don't you think using mostly special energy in this deck is hard countered by Trump as a tech in a swing garb? I mean, if you want to have access to Grenadier GX as an attacker, yes. Um, if you don't want to have access to that, um, we can just run pure grass, and that's completely fine. Um, I just, I generally couldn't see how to fit um, everything else in the deck uh, naturally. Now I'm gonna goose my target down the Zerua. Um, because without Zorax, the deck definitely won't be flowing too well. Um, our hand is very unfortunate. We have all these clunky cards, because the deck is very clunky. Um, and of our prizes, we get the prize win one, so... Uh, but yeah, this deck would be quite weak to a Trampa, just picking up our energy for sure. Um, but like, I've gotten so many requests for Greninja decks that that's why I'm featuring them. Um, Zora Greninja was also the most popular deck from all of them that I made from uh, from Forbidden Light so far. Um, so people want to see Greninja GX, and I'm just exploring, right? Um, if other people want to explore on um, on other decks, then feel free to do so, or like do more stuff on these particular decks, then you're always free to do so. Um, ¿Cuándo empieza la nueva rotación, Neda? En septiembre. El primero de septiembre. Entonces falta mucho. Um, yeah, Greninja's GX attack is really good. Especially when combined with its abilities and um, well-timed uh, or well-placed damage counters. Um, 
just finding the right partner for it, and I generally think the right partner is uh, Zork. Um, oh, very nice, Dead Suzaru. <laughs> Congrats on the win streak. Okay, so my opponent trying to go for the um, for the spreading strategy. So I'm going to counter that. I'm going to do um, armor press here. I'll probably once again I have a dead hand and <laughs> I flip double tails. Um, I'm probably gonna lose a frog here to a double the CDI um, drop there, but oh well, right? Not much. I, there's nothing I can do about it. Um, congrats on nine on the nine game win streak, Ted Suzaru. Uh, no chance. What do I think of Pramod Zork alone and nine tails? I think it was a really weird and bad deck <laughs> to use at the event. Um, like the baby nine tails. I can see how it has potential, but I would rather just run Hoopa if that's the, if that's the case. There you go. <laughs> okay, so there's the Evo Soda. Double damage, yeah, double damage counter placement onto the, onto the Frogadier to knock it out. So you have Floatstone as well. <laughs> Makes up for the 05 at regionals. Yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> um, y si, sí, no habrá sobres de que tú pones los códigos. Siempre, eh, siempre intercámbialos. Guárdalos hasta tener suficientes y cámbialos por un tapulele. Y los que tengas con candado o las monedas que tengas, cámbialos por sobres de Guardians Rising. Y ahí sí. Ok, so we see an Espen as well. Pretty scary looking deck so far. So we lose the Frogadier. Now we're gonna see a trade as well. So the 20 spread helped and didn't help my opponent. I would say. Um, Hoopa de CDI. Uh, I mean, Hoopa de CDI would be not great, and Alola Ninetales de CDI would be the same, I feel. It's just. It's really hard. Um, to justify not playing Pokemon Draw. If you're not playing Pokemon Draw, such as Octillery Line, or at the very least an Oranguru, but Oranguru is not very good, um, or something like um, something like Zork, the decks just get super clunky. Um, Tokyo T. Um, Glacian Greninja definitely hard counters <laughs> Zork Greninja, but I don't think Glacian Greninja is gonna be. A very popular deck, to be honest. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and do this. I'm gonna search for a Froki, and I'm going to end my opponent to take away the cards that he has in his hand at the moment. Um, I guess I'll instruct for one. I probably won't have a chance to instruct. Ooh, the DC. Hmm. Uh, the DC could go here. The DC could also go here. Mm hmm. Yeah, so now I'm gonna end, bring my opponent's hand down quite a bit, and once again these Bridgets just keep on popping up. <laughs> um, at least we get to armor press for 150 now. Hello Joe Bro, thanks so much for hanging out. Um, so yeah, I feel like you shouldn't not play a deck because Glacian Greninja hard counters it. Um, Glacian Greninja is not going to be very good in my opinion. Um, Zora Ninja has been training you well, Rhea. Um, four wins against Bustrock, that's pretty good. Two wins against Pikabulu, that's nice. One win against Ulti. Yeah, those are pretty decent results. Um, yeah, Glacian doesn't hit the numbers indeed. And then if you're trying to put Glacian, the clunky stage one with Granite GX, the clunky stage two, then you also need to fit something like Octillery, but then you can't Brooklyn heal for the AV, so you need to play Bridget, which makes your deck even slower and it's just bad ideas all around, in my opinion. Not bad ideas, but just weird uh, clunkiness in the deck. Um, um, I haven't made any changes to the list I uploaded to YouTube Jet Ocean. Um, I've been mostly focused on Bustle and Malamar. Um, so no, I haven't made changes from the list that I uploaded the other day. 
Oh gosh, now my opponent has tripled the CDI when he only has one Zorg. That's very sad. <laughs> it's very sad and very threatening here. Um, 70 HP is pretty good though. 70 HP is pretty good. He needs to place at least one damage counter here to make my DC useless. Uh, but yeah, my opponent's deck just running really, really well, and mine, uh, not very well. <laughs> She's not very well. Um, Greninja's ability places damage counters. Um, would I make changes to it? I don't think so, not for now. Um, I feel like you need the extra focus on Espion, that's why the three Vs. Um, oh my. The armor press bug, guys. The armor press bug. Um, mine check is still being 160. If the armor press bug was not here, he would not be getting this KO. Well, he would, he wouldn't have this spare feather arrow. Okay, so my point is fair, actually. My opponent is very fair and chooses to um, place the feather arrow there to get the knockout when he didn't need to, which is very nice. Very nice of him. Um, okay, so we get the frog here. here. Um, so I would love to respond to this, however I'm not liking my chances of drawing a gold support of this end, but... Okay. Now we have the, all the supporters. <laughs> now we have all the supporters. Uh, Pounds of Xanax, I dropped <laughs> from Utah. So um, I think you meant Toronto, which got me top 64, which is decent, not the best, not the worst, um, but thank you. <laughs> thank you so much. We finally have more than a thousand championship points, guys, which you can now see down below. I updated it. Okay, so there's a prize card. And then, um, try Bottle without Lycan. I can try it, yes. I can try it eventually, I will. Um, I need to try Bottle without Lycan Rock, and I need to try Dustmane in the Crossma because a lot of people have been requesting it with Carboder. Um, you're playing 333 Grand Ninja GX and 422 Alola Ninetales. Yeah, so. I mean, I don't think there's any way to make the deck less clunky. You're using a stage 2 and a stage 1, and then you still need a non... Like a draw supporter Pokemon, kind of. So... I don't know, it feels very... Com unnecessarily complicated, if you will. I really wish I had been able to evolve this Frog King to Frog here the previous turn. Um, if my opponent doesn't play any more non-GXs, we're gonna have to play the... Um, the seven price card game. Um, he did just Mallow, probably for a DCE to attack me with Zork, which is okay, I guess. Yep, there's a DCE. <laughs> it's okay, no worries. Um, 130 damage. I need to try Jurassic Park. <laughs> this is what I think of Jurassic Park. <laughs> Nearly lost to Rodons with Zoro Frogs. <laughs> yeah, so I think Oranguru is actually really bad. Especially after using it right now, I think Oranguru is really bad. Um, yeah, and we're just gonna lose the Golisabed here. We're just gonna lose the Golisabed. The extra damage has just been way too much. Way, way, way too much. Gonna go down to one price card. We don't have Greninja GX. Things are not looking good for us here. Things are not looking good. And my opponent, down to one price card, he can one hit KO anything with the triple the CDI. So, yeah, this is just gonna be another loss. This is just gonna be another loss for the deck. Um, doing this because a lot of people want to see it. Um, I hope this will. Uh, appease you guys and show you that the Greninja GX decks, when combined with anything that's not dark, they're just not very good. Yeah, there's a lot of hype, exactly. 
it's just too slow like things have too too much hp and the only way to run it is with zard i will stand by that the only real reliable way to run greninja gx is with zard gx no other way no other way to run it um i have not played nine tails greninja but it's just gonna be more of the same a stage one and a stage two without pokemon draw that just feels super clunky and then you get these sort of hands <laughs> where we've already lost the game because of this hand we have already lost the game um i think we're up against the shuckle deck again <laughs> i think we're up against the shuckle deck again yeah so it's like and this will happen because we have all these evolution lines that are clunking up the deck. I generally think the only way to <laughs> gracias por pasar nada. The only actual reliable way to run Greninja GX is with Zork and no other way. I'm gonna play this to thin or not if I play if I get double tails. Um, I'm gonna Kuzma the Lele to make it harder for my opponent to attack, and then we just pass. I mean, pure Greninja with Octillery might be better. That might be the only other way to run it. Um, that might be the only way to run it. <laughs> and yeah, Double Tails. Can't even help myself with those. I'm gonna see a Malo. Interesting. Interesting decision. <laughs> Thank you so much, Jin. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Thanks so much for staying up and I appreciate the kind words. That's very, very kind of you. Where are you from? Um, if it's 3 a.m. where you live, I would assume you're somewhere in uh, Asia? Probably. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for, for the kind words and the support. And there we go. <laughs> There we go. Yeah, this is the Zorg box that we played against yesterday. How did I name it yesterday? Zorg DCE box. So I'm gonna write it down just for record purposes. However, we have now lost. So yeah, I think I'm done with bad Greninja decks, guys. <laughs> I'm definitely done with bad Greninja decks. I'm gonna move on to Zorg GX now. So. If you're watching on YouTube, don't forget to leave a like. It really helps out the channel. Um, let's hope Greninja GX can pick up the slack with Zork in the upcoming um, in the upcoming video. And um, don't go anywhere, guys. If you're watching live on Twitch, I will be right back in less than 30 seconds with the Zork GX Greninja updated deck that we're gonna try and actually get some good results with. So don't go anywhere. I will be right. Back. 